Welcome to this training video on how to use hyperlinks in PowerPoint. So this is what I'm going to be showing you. I'm going to be showing you, um, well, I've got a slide here, and I'm going to show you how to insert hyperlinks into it. Now, there's several different ways in which you can use hyperlinks. You can use hyperlinks to jump to another slide. So you could have a button you click on, it jumps you down to another slide. You can use hyperlinks where you could uh, highlight a particular word. It could take you off to a uh, website. Um, so you could have it so it just takes you off to there if you click on it. Um, yeah, there's different ways of doing it. You could have a hyperlink go into an email address, so it sends an email, or you could have a hyperlink to a document saved on your computer. So there's lots of different things. I'm going to show you how to do all of them. Also, if you want to be able to create really nice, pretty PowerPoints like this, and I created this in PowerPoint, only using PowerPoint, not using any fancy tools, nothing like Photoshop or anything like that, just using PowerPoint. If you want to know how to do this, I've got another video on how to do it. So have a look for that video on my channel. Anyway, on with the topic of hyperlinks in PowerPoint. So let's have a start here. Um, in fact, the one that you most likely want to do you're going to be saying something like this. You're going to say, click on this text to find out more. Now, the way to do it, you can either highlight a particular word or several words. So um, you could just do that one there. So click on this text. There we go. So I've highlighted it. Right click. And then go to hyperlink. And if you've taken them off to a website, which is quite common, you go to the existing file or web page. And then you need to put the address in there. So you could be putting in google.com there you go very simple let's see you do that is there made it blue it's underlined it and then that's how the person knows that it is a hyperlink if you want to change the color of the hyperlink so it's currently in blue and that's what it defaults to select it again to highlight all of it they can just change the color so i've made it red or you can go up here and change it to any color that you want so if you want them to do that, so as a prime example, if you had a blue backdrop, you don't want a blue hyperlink because no one can see it. So you know, I wouldn't want this kind of orange one because it's almost impossible to read. Anyway, I've made it red. If you want to remove the underscore, well, the way to do that, if you highlight all of it, you can't just click on underscore and it'll do it. It, it doesn't work. Yeah, look, underscore, made no change to it, removed it, made no change to it. What you need to do is in um, in the home section, you've got font, click on this little drop down bit here, this little kind of arrow. And then what you need to do is under, underline style, I should say, go to underline style, choose one to give it that black line. And then you need to make it the color that you want. So in this case, I'll make it white, press okay. And there you go, you've got a white underline. So what I should do, let's do that again. I should pick the color of the actual backdrop. Now it'd be better if I'd done this on a page in which it was easier to work out. But, oh, there you go, I found the right color. So there is an underline on there, but you can't see it because it's blended in with the, with the backdrop. If I hover over this text though, you can see it's gonna send me off to Google. You can test it by pressing Control on your keyboard. You can see my mouse cursor has turned into a hand and then click the text and it's opened up on this window over here. There we go. It's opened up. It's worked. That is how you do a hyperlink to a web page. Let's do that again. Let's do it for this website here. This is uh, this is my website. So last time I just did a bit of a text. I don't want to do a bit of text. I want to do all of it. So I can click on it. What I need to do is highlight the text. So it's all of it. Right click, go to hyperlink. I need to put it in the address. Now the easiest way to do it, last time I just typed in Google because that was really easy. But if I go to, um, there you go, go to create action. All right, so my website is actually with Weebly at the moment. I will be changing that, just not yet. Paste it in there, go to okay, and there you go. createaction.co.uk is actually gonna to go to createaction.weebly.com. So it's gonna send it off to the place that I pasted in there. If I had just put in createaction.co.uk because of the way I got my website set up, it'll be going off to the right place. Now, let's show you how to do another one. Let's, uh, let's go to this slide here, so slide two. So I've got this one here where I want the user when they're doing a PowerPoint to click on that and for it to send them off to this slide here called Fire Safety. All right, so that's what it is. So I've got it all set up to do that already. I'm going to show you that working. 
So I've just had to change my screen mode because I've got a massive monitor. So I want to be able to show you this. I'm going to preview the PowerPoint. There you go. You can see the PowerPoint being previewed. This fire safety, as I move my mouse over it, you can see the mouse cursor has changed into a hand from the pointer. I'll click on that. And there you go. It's taking me to the fire safety slide. So let me show you how I did that. Let's pick a slide. So let's go for this slide here, which is all about teamwork. I'll change the title. There you go, teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. And let's go back to this slide here. I'm gonna create a button, but the way to create a button is simply to create a shape. So I'll go to insert, shapes. I'll pick this one here because I like it. So it's a rectangle with a bit of a rounded edge. There we go. And I'll type in there. So teamwork, let's make it look a bit nicer though. So I'll make that bold, I'll increase the font size, go to shape format, let's fill it in. Um, let's go for that one there. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Well, borderline. Anyway, you see what it is. So there we go, teamwork. Um, let's, you know, let's give it a little shadow. I'll make it better. Hey, it's a shadow, instantly better. Right, so this one here, so this is just a shape. I'm gonna call it a button. It's just a shape about teamwork. Now, currently nothing happens if I was to click on this because it is just a shape. But what I need to do is click on it, right click, go to hyperlink, and then I need to go to place in this document. So click on that one there. And then I can choose whether I want it to go to the first slide the last slide, the next slide, the previous slide, or a particular slide. So which one was it? It was slide five, wasn't it? Teamwork. So if I press OK, that is now going to go to slide five. If I hover over it, you can see that it is gonna work. And if I follow the instructions and I do control on my keyboard, and then I click on it, it's taking me there. If you don't believe me, let me just demo it to you. So once again, I'm on my massive monitor. I'm just gonna preview this. By the way, I, the way I do it is by clicking on the slideshow button down the bottom right here. That will just launch the, um, the PowerPoint presentation from this slide, i.e. the slide that I'm on. So we just click on that. There we go. If we click on this teamwork one, again, you can see the mouse cursor has changed into a hand. Click on that, taking me to the teamwork slide. So you can see that it works perfectly. Now I wanted to show you a couple more, didn't I? I wanted to show you how to do it from a document within your computer and an email address. So let's do an email address and we do it from this one here. So instead of that, we'll say, um, we'll say uh, contact Alan Dixon for more information. Yep, so Alan Dixon is, is me, by the way, just in case you weren't aware. So go to that one there. So um, what we want to do, we want to highlight that so that if a user clicks on that, then it'll create or yeah it'll generate an email for them so this is what we want to do let's try it so you've got alan dixon there highlighted right click hyperlink and then we want to choose email address at the bottom left here so email address this is who you want to send it off to so i didn't type in mail to by the way that was just as soon as i started typing it just came with mail to so alan.dixon at create action.co.uk there you go alan.dixon at creation.co.uk subject you can default a subject if you want to you don't have to but let's let's do it uh, let's say um, amazing e-learning training because that's what I do text to display so that is Alan Dixon and uh, that text to display by the way that is what is displaying here okay so that is representing that bit there and I'll show you that in just a second but if I press OK, you can see again it's underscored and that there, if I hover over it, it will say mail to alan.dixon at createaction.co.uk. Subject is amazing e-learning training. There we go. And if I press the control button on my keyboard or control key on my keyboard, you can see my mouse cursor has changed. So that's me pressing the control key. If I click it. It then brings up the client. If I actually had a client set up, it will then tell me that I can send an email. 
but that'll work in your workplace because you're all gonna have your email set up properly. Let me just take this opportunity as well to say, if you enjoyed this video, if you find it remotely useful, just give it a like, because it really helps me. Also, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, I've got loads more videos. I'm always bringing out new videos to do with PowerPoint, Excel, Google Sheets, Word, um, but also more technical things like Articulate Storyline and Articulate Rise and Camtasia, which is video editing software and tech reviews as well. So I've always got new headphones and microphones and monitors and computers. Anyway, subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment down below if there's something you'd like me to cover as well. Anyway, back to the video. So going through this example again, let's uh, let's have another slide. Let's have a, uh, in fact, let's gonna, oh, I'm gonna add to this again. Uh, or contact John Smith. Let me show you that again. But I'm going to show you a little variation on this one. So I'll highlight John Smith. I'll right click. I promise you I'm going to hyperlink even though it's off the screen. So you've got display text up here. So this is what I was talking about earlier on. So previously they said Alan Dixon. And in this example it says John Smith. Let's change that. Change it to Peter Smith. Email address, uh, peter.smith at gmail.com. Peter, I don't know who you are. I apologize if anything goes to you. Uh, let's just say hello. Press OK. Now notice it's gone from John Smith to Peter Smith. The reason being is because, again, if I right click on this, oops, let's do that again. If I highlight it, right click on it, we'll go to, this time I'll go to edit link because I'm not adding a hyperlink, I'm editing it. Go to edit link. And it's because I changed the text to display to be Peter Smith. So that could be um, head of health and safety. Please contact head of health and safety. And if I hover over it, the email address is peter.smith at gmail.com with the subject of hello. So I've changed the text there but it is still going to that email address of peter.smith. So that's how you would deal with these. Now, I briefly covered it anyway, but let me show you how to edit hyperlinks. So we'll do it on one of these ones. So we've got a fire safety one. I'll right click on it and you can remove the link. Yep. If I do that, then that just becomes a box. Nothing else happens. And if I want to add in a hyperlink, I have to, once again, I'm just gonna move it up here just so you can see the uh, drop down options. I have to right click and I can add in a hyperlink. Now this one here, I'm gonna edit it. So again, I'll right click on it and I'll go to edit link. And that's how I can change which one it goes to. So you can go to any of these ones. You make your change, you press okay. With the text, so again, this is just going off to my website. If I highlight it, because I've highlighted it, I've got options here of edit link or remove link. Alternatively, you can right click on it. So let me just do that again. Highlight it, right click. I've got remove link, I've got edit link. So once again, if I go to edit link, I can change the text. So I can just change it to create action and the address. Let's change that to uh, create action.co.uk. There you go, it's already got it for me. Click OK. You can see it's all changed though. So this is now just text that says create action, but it will go off to createaction.co.uk. And that could be going off to anywhere. That could be going off to google.com. So you know how to do all that. Let me show you one more thing though. Let's show you how to go to a document that you've got saved on your computer. So if I do it on, I'll do it on this one here. Insert. And I'll show you how to do it as an object and also a text box. Now I am typing there. You can't see it though because it's a uh, black text on a black background. And there we go. I've typed in hello. But let's say um, view this document. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to highlight that, right click, right click, and then go to hyperlink. And what you want to do, you want to use existing file or web page because we're going to do an, we're going to do an existing file. So you need to find the location of the file. So I'll find it on here. 
Here we go. I have a document here called Dinosaurs. Uh, I guess it's about dinosaurs. And we go to OK. So even though the text is still viewed as documents, if I hover over it, it's going to send it off to the dinosaurs location. Now remember, this is going to send it off to that location on my computer. If you were to be sending this file to someone else, so let's rephrase that. If you're going to send this PowerPoint presentation to someone else, they do not have access to your computer. So they cannot see that document called dinosaurs. It's only useful for people using this computer with this access rights. So you've got to be logged in as you. So essentially, it's only useful for you. Now, if this was a kind of generic training computer in a classroom, this might work. But it won't work if you're logging in as someone different. So do bear all of this in mind. But if I want to make a change to it, highlight it, right click, go to edit link. I can change the name as I showed you before, which is text to display. So this could be called Dinosaurs. And I'll just leave it as that. I can once again change the actual document if I wanted to. Click OK. There you go. Changes to Dinosaurs. So now you know how to create hyperlinks within the document so it jumps to a different slide. You know to how to have it so it goes to a different web page in this case, which is Google, you know how to change the font of the hyperlink, you know how to get rid of an underscore or an underline on the hyperlink, you know how to go to a document, uh, wherever it was, this one here, you know how to go to a document within your computer, and you also know how to send off emails, and you know how to send off or how to change the text that's being displayed. So in this case, it's Head of Health and Safety, even though it's addressed to Peter Smith, and at one time, it's at John Smith. Hopefully you found all of this useful. If so, as I said, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, thank you very much. Enjoy using hyperlinks in PowerPoint.